future designers. In this video, we are going to talk about NID, that's National Institute of Design. What is NID? How many centers are there? What is the eligibility criteria to get into NID? What is the fee structure? How are the placements in NIF? What is the placement package that is offered to the students? What kind of department and courses are offered by the institute? How many total number of seats are there? The admission procedure of the college and the important dates you need to know when the forms are coming out, when is the entrance exam and when are the final results coming out? everything you need to know regarding NID. Let's begin with this video. This institute is a government institute and it is under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It is also recognized as one of the best institute all across the country if you, go, if you talk about core design institutes. Business Week USA has ranked it amongst top 25 colleges all over the world if you talk about core design institutes. The course curriculum is based on practical learning with an awesome campus and beautiful infrastructure. NID Ahmedabad offers degrees for undergraduate, postgraduate, GDPD that's graduate diploma program in design and also PhD in design. Let's talk about these centers. So the main center as I told you is in Paldi Ahmedabad. It has another six centers all across India. One is in Gandhinagar itself, which is a PG campus. Another is in Bangalore, which is an R&D, that is Research and Development Center of NID. Four new NIDs have sprung up recently. One is in Kurukshetra, another is in Vijayawara, Bhopal and Jorhat. These four NIDs offer GDPD, that is Graduate Diploma Program in Design. So it's a diploma program of four years only, but now it has been given an equal importance as graduate degree and also people completing GDPD are getting degrees, not the diplomas. So total number of seats in NID Ahmedabad is 128 and four new NIDs have 75, 75 seats each. So that comes down to 428 seats total across all NIDs for undergraduate programs. A lot of my younger brothers, sisters and juniors, they come and ask me if NID is good or NIFT is good for fashion design. So let me tell you, there is no fashion design course in NID. NID offers courses in eight disciplines, textile design, graphic design, product design, film and video design, furniture and interior design, glass and ceramic design, animation design, and exhibition design. All of these courses are for four years duration for bachelor's program. Now, the most important thing is the placement. A lot of people will decide their college on the basis of how good the placement is. So let me tell you, if you are great and you're studying from NID or Pearl or any other institute, you will end up getting a good package. The tag of the institute does not matter. It does, but it's at the end of the day, it's your hard work and how you impress the company which you are in. Even if you get a, even if you get a great package and you go to the company and you don't perform that well, they'll fire you. And if you have a less package and you are impressing the company and you are doing great projects for them, you will get increments and you will get a salary hike within within the first year, within a few months even. So still, the average package is approximately 6 to 8 lakh. The highest for UG has been 24 lakhs per annum. Fees is another constraint a lot of people look up to when they are about to decide the college. So fee for NID is approximately 3 lakh per year. If you are a UG student, so that comes to 3 into 4 because it's a 4 year program. So 12 lakh approximately you're looking to spend. NID has international ties with 98 universities all over the world. So if you're an NID student, you have good CGPA and you're doing great, you might get a chance to go for a semester exchange program in all these foreign universities. Famous alumni of NID, if we talk about that's Harun Robot, you all know him by the name of Rob and you have seen Mad on Pogo. So he's an NID. Then the Barker Banerjee is a national award winning film director. Orijit Sain, who has River of Stories to his credit. So a lot of filmmakers and product designers from NID who are very successful right now. So after considering all these factors, if you want to get into NID, these are the important dates you should keep in mind. The forms for NID entrance tests, they come around October every year. Last day to fill these forms is somewhere around in the mid of November and the exam is held every year by end of December or January mid first week or second week until then. So once you clear the first round, which is that prelims, you'll enter to that mains. So that mains includes studio test. So once you clear the that mains, the final result will come somewhere around April end or May and then you'll start with the session. 
So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want to know in the detail about this complete syllabus and how to prepare for this institute, there is a separate detailed video regarding this on my channel. The link to which is down in the description box below. You can watch that right after this video. If you have any query, you can write down to me in the comment section below and I'll make sure that I reply to each of your queries. Thank you. Bye-bye.